How's it going, everybody? I'm Jeff Slakey, and I find myself today at the Isthmus in Olympia, just in front of Ole on Ice, where on November 19th, folks from all over are going to enjoy ice skating. Paul Simmons is the Parks Director for the City of Olympia. We're going to go in and talk with him a little bit more about this. How you doing, Paul? I'm fantastic. How are you doing? Good. Good to see you here. Once again, downtown Olympia is being transformed into an outdoor ice skating rink. The great folks at uh, Ice Skate Events have been working hard with the city of Olympia, and uh, this again looks great. We had to put a pause on it last year because of COVID, but we're back at it this time. Yeah, we were so sad last year when we weren't able to do it like many other things that were put on hold for a year, but uh, we're very excited to bring it back this year, and um, we've put some new measures in place. There will be enhanced cleanings. People will be required to wear masks. We're also doing a timed entry system where people will be able to go online and select the time they're going to come and that will be managed. Uh, people can still show up at the door. There may be a little bit of a wait if we're at capacity, but that's still an option too. But we think that will help a little bit with crowd management uh, and, and capacity. All right, well, let's start walking down here a little bit. Rod, can you take, a, take the lead here? So we've had the chance to come through here in the past when it's on and boy it's just a heck of a lot of fun and families kids young and old right they get to experience ice skating and up until a few years ago that was unique to olympia yeah you know i think um what's amazing is that you know typically that time of year it's dark it's wet it's cold and most people shudder into their houses uh and um what Ole on ice has been able to bring to olympia is a new holiday tradition um, that actually brings people out and adds life and brings community. And um, there's nothing better than seeing the smiles on the faces of our community. Uh, and, you know, sometimes I'll come down here when the rink's open and just kind of sit and just watch all of the joy and the excitement. And, you know, whether it's a kid hitting the rink for their first time and learning how to skate, uh, or whether it's an adult who, you know, maybe hasn't skated in 25 or 30 years and they're going back to their childhood memories. Sure. It's just awesome to provide this. Can for I go out the, here? Oh, absolutely. Just be careful. <laughs> yeah. uh, but uh, it's, too, it's awesome to careful. provide this for the community. So how big is this rink? That is a great question. It's not, you know, regulation hockey size right. by any means, but it is, um, you know, it's about as big as we can get it at this location. Uh -huh. um, it is a little bit bigger than the first year. So for oh. those that, you know, for those who weren't with us in year two, we were able to get a little bit wider and extend, extend the size of the tent. Um, so there were some things that we worked that we learned after the first year and worked out the kinks in, in year two. So um, it just gives a little bit more room in the middle and a little bit more uh, wall space for those that need to cling to the wall. Well, you know, that's the thing. It's almost like a, a brownie. People like the edges of the brownies <laughs> so right. they can hold on to it the whole time. Totally. Uh, you got a lot of great community partners and you can't make a, an event like this go without something like that. Yeah, we actually have 35 sponsors that have contributed a value of $92,000. Wow. Um, this rink would not happen without the support of the community and it's just been amazing in our three years to to have all of the support that we have um, and and actually now that you bring that up i'd love to call out uh, small to tall pediatric dentistry they are our uh, lone premier sponsor this year and really have supported Ole on ice in a major major way yeah. um, that being said we have tons of sponsors we have a lot of financial contributors and you'll see their names uh, when you come down to the rink and on a lot of our promotional materials and then we also have a lot of program partners and in-kind sponsors and folks that uh, you know, like yourselves, sure. um, you know, maybe you're not contributing money, but you are able to, to support the rink through in-kind value uh, and, and that sort of thing. And it's just, it's, it's, it, it, this rink would not be nearly as successful without all the community support and love. So, so thank you. Well, thank um, you for putting this on. It's a great thing for the community. When we were talking a little bit earlier, there's about 150 people or so that could be on this, but you don't really ever get that many. No, you know, what we found with ice skating is it's, it's particularly if you don't do it very often, is it's kind of exhausting. And yeah. the average uh, stay on the ice rink is 20 to 40 minutes or so is usually 
um, what most people do. You know, of course, we have some hardcore people that come down and uh -huh. spend longer, and then there's some that maybe don't even make it quite 20 minutes. But um, but it's really it's all about the experience and getting out there and doing something different and unique and. And what's cool now is it's becoming a tradition. You know, yeah. when, when my kids, you know, when we first did it, they were, you know, four and one, you know, and now they're, now they're older, older than, than that. you know. And so, you know, they start seeing the tent pop up and you start to hear kind of people chattering about it. I'm at one of my kids' soccer parties and parents are asking, when does it open? Uh -huh. You know, so you can, you can really feel that community buzz, which is exciting. Again, on the 19th of uh, November is when it's open, runs through January 17th or so. As we walk over here, how, let's talk a little bit about how this new e-ticketing service works. So everything is on oleonice.com and it's new. So I haven't had a chance to experience it myself, but my understanding is you'll be able to go on there and, specific, and choose specific times that you want to come and um, enter the rink. So you'll be able to reserve uh, space ahead of time. That way you'll know you're in at a certain time. You know, there may have been times in the past where we'll have a line out the door yeah. and people would have to come down and kind of wait until enough people were off the rink to kind of open up there won't you know for those that choose to go on and, and purchase the the e-tickets and the time to entry they they'll they'll have kind of assurance that that's their time to be on the ice which is good you know how thick the ice is uh i don't know exactly but i'm gonna saying? just make a guess that it's about four to six inches thick okay. um probably closer to six but that's a, a educated if it, guess if it's thicker does it hurt less when you fall on it no it's all the same unfortunately <laughs> but you know it's kind of chilly in here so sometimes it's good to wear extra sweatshirts yeah, definitely padding. extra socks do all those things and then when you go down you know maybe if you go down uh you know maybe have a little bit extra padding oh, and... Paul, everybody everybody falls <laughs> Can you bring your own skates? Yes, you can bring your own okay. skates. And I believe it's slightly cheaper if you bring your okay. own skates as well. And if you choose to do the rentals, you know, one thing we learned from the first year is, you know, they're just that, they're rental skates. Yeah. And so we encourage everyone to wear either really thick, you know, wool socks or maybe double up on their socks even. And that'll help protect, you know, that'll, that'll create a more comfortable experience, which is what everyone's looking for. There's also helpers there uh, for folks if they're just learning for uh, kids on the ice. Those, yep. those red things work great. Yes, you can rent those helpers and um, they just kind of scoot around. You want to grab one off of there? We, we can pull one out here so you can see a little bit more how they work. And... And I believe these are a, a timed rental, you know, so you pay in, I believe you get a half hour's use, but you basically just set them down on the ice and then kids are able to kind of lean, lean on it oh, as yeah. they're, uh, as they're going. So it helps just kind of helps with balance and, you know, yeah, particularly perfect. for new skaters, it's a good way to kind of get used. It's, you know, it's the same thing as having training wheels yeah. on your bike. You That's know? awesome. That's so great. really good for, especially for the really young kids that aren't, aren't quite ready to pick up you know, independent skating. Tell me about Ice Rink Events. Ice Rink Events has been a fantastic partner for us. You know, um, there's a lot that goes into this. And as a parks department, you know, we know our industry, but we don't know everything there is to know about, you know, managing an ice and setting up and, um, and even just the, the, you know, the staffing to do the ticketing and manage the skate rentals. Um, they provide all of the staff and so they're just they're a good partner because it's kind of turnkey for the city We call them in there's some things we do to support it and then there's a lot of things that they do I believe they run like 90 of these oh, wow. around the country um, And what we learned last year is even though Olympia did not have an ice rink There were some that were still happening around the country and what they experienced uh, during COVID was that with the less capacities um, the non-peak times were, were more utilized. Oh. And so there, was, there were more people. They actually, uh, attendance was still pretty close to, uh, was higher than expected even during COVID because people were coming in, you know, on weekday nights when typically the, a lot of people would have came on the Saturday. Nice. Um, and, and actually that brings up a good point too. You know, if you're looking to avoid the crowd and want to have as much ice to yourself, you know, really look for those Monday nights or Wednesday nights, Thursday nights even. Some of those off-peak times, those are the times, um, or even like right when the rink opens up earlier in the day is often time a little bit less busy. So 
Um, you know, it, or if you don't care about that, you know, it, it does tend to get a little bit busier, you know, Saturday afternoon and evening and, and Fridays and Sundays are and really so, busy you know, days. At some level, that's, that's fun too. Right. The hustle and right. hustle. Right, right. Ole on Ice opens on November 19th and it runs through January 17th. It's right downtown Olympia at Isthmus Park. There's plenty of parking. Again, Ole on Ice uh, is the website. We'll put the links to that where you can do your online uh, digital reservations. You can learn more and definitely uh, bring your friends and family as they come in through the holidays to enjoy this really unique experience that is, like you said, turned into a great tradition here uh, in the South Sound. Paul Simmons from the Olympia Parks Department, good to see you. Thank you for walking us around here. And uh, it's gonna be an exciting time again, November 17th through January 17th here in downtown Olympia.